we begin our overview of the Third Avenue railway system in the Bronx and Westchester with some scenes taken in the late 1930s. This is a Morris Avenue car from the Bronx coming over the Third Avenue bridge and uh, onto the Manhattan side where it will turn back and head back across the bridge and up Morris Avenue. As you can see, it's a curved side convertible car in winter dress with the solid sides on the car. This is still on the Manhattan side under the uh, elevated structure at 130th Street and 3rd Avenue. And this is on the Bronx side, a southbound Morris Avenue car coming from Morris Avenue to where it joins 3rd Avenue near 138th Street and then proceeding up the Bronx ramp of the 3rd Avenue bridge. The Morris Avenue line was one of those discontinued in 1941 and replaced by buses. Here's a crosstown car at the 155th Street Bridge, another crosstown car at 138th Street and the Grand Concourse with the Triborough Bridge approach in the background. Some of these old 800 series cars were still operating well into the late 1940s, but these views are taken around 1938, 39, 40. That's at the Bronx Station of the New York Central Railroad, 138th Street and Park Avenue. A crosstown car and a 5th Avenue double-deck bus on the 155th Street Bridge. And a 145th Street crosstown car uh, at the Plow Pit at 145th Street and Lenox Avenue. Looking down on the Bronx side of the Washington Bridge, where five trolley lines came and went, that's University Avenue and the 181st Street Bridge, a car heading toward the Manhattan side, Washington Heights, and a car on the Bronx side. This is at Southern Boulevard near Fordham Road. The X car was the Fordham Road Crosstown and was turning back there. This is Webster Avenue, just north of Webster and Tremont, and this is 167th Street, the underpass under the Grand Concourse. 167th Street Crosstown cars passing under the Grand Concourse. A busy neighborhood in those days. The black cat crossing in front of the trolley was an omen of something to come, but not for some years yet. Looking east on 167th Street, Kingsbridge Road with the underpass under the Grand Concourse near Poe Park. Trolleys coming and going, and there was a trolley station in the underpass, so one could make an easy transfer to the Concourse IND subway. Straight side convertible this time, still in winter dress with the side panels in place. The uh, Sedgwick Avenue shuttle coming up the S-turn from the Morris Heights station in the West Bronx. A remnant of the old Sedgwick Avenue trolley line which was eliminated for the most part in 1921. Fordham Road and Webster Avenue as seen from the 3rd Avenue elevated station looking west in the early 1930s. The small four-wheel car coming in from the upper right and now at the middle left is from the upper Webster Avenue line north of Gunhill Road. This is Fordham Road east of 3rd Avenue with a 3rd Avenue elevated train heading for the Bronx Park Stub Terminal and trolleys coming and going on East Fordham Road east of 3rd Avenue running just in front of the Fordham University grounds. 3rd Avenue and Fordham Road looking south at a Willis Avenue line car coming up under the elevated and terminating at Fordham Square. The Willis, Ave the Willis Avenue line was another trolley line that was eliminated in 1941 in favor of buses. So these scenes are 1941 or earlier with elevated trains in storage in the middle track on the elevated line overhead. Various buses are to be seen here too on several routes, Prospect Avenue and uh, Pelham Parkway and City Island. A Willis Avenue car coming down 3rd Avenue making the S turn under the elevated uh, in the vicinity of the Bronx Courthouse at 161st Street and 3rd Avenue. This is Willis Avenue just south of 149th Street and 3rd Avenue 
with the Willis Avenue car emerging from under the elevated and heading south. This is a short turn car. It's turning back at 134th Street and Willis Avenue. Many of the Willis Avenue cars continued south on Willis toward Manhattan, went across the bridge into Manhattan and across 125th Street to the Fort Lee Ferry. This is Dyer Avenue in the Northeast Bronx with a Bernie car, a four-wheel Bernie, on the Dyer Avenue shuttle from the Mount Vernon city line down into the Bronx only as far as Boston Road. This line had been eliminated in favor of buses in the early 30s but was brought back as a trolley line around 1937 to satisfy a franchise requirement requiring trolleys on the line. The Mount Vernon bus continued to operate though and in this view looking north we see a New York, Westchester and Boston local heading north into the Dyer Avenue station, a trolley about to pass under it and the Mount Vernon bus chasing the trolley up into Mount Vernon. The trolley will turn back just a block north of 233rd Street here. There is the Bronx and Mount Vernon borderline with the trolley shuttling back and forth and the bus continuing up into South Fifth Avenue, Mount Vernon. West Farm Square in the East Bronx was a major trolley uh, station. Numerous trolley and bus lines came through here and we have several views mostly of convertibles and older larger style uh, box type body cars on the various lines at West Farm Square. In the middle you may see a convertible car with the side panels removed and wire mesh screen substituted in the summer making it an open air car. Here's a trolley coming from Tremont Avenue around the curve into West Farm Square. A brand new trolley around 1939 and one of the really older models. Here's a V car on the Williamsbridge Road line coming from Tremont Avenue into West Farm Square. This will continue out on Tremont Avenue, go uh, north on uh, Morris Park Avenue and then turn northward again on uh, White Plains Road and go all the way up to Gun Hill Road to the Williamsbridge area. B was the Boston Road line that came from the South Bronx up Boston Road through West Farm Square and went out Morris Park Avenue as far as Williamsbridge Road. Another V car on the Williamsbridge line at West Farm Square and several views of some of the different lines that came through here. There's a Tremont Avenue Crosstown car heading west and a Boston Road car heading east. Looking east through West Farm Square, this trolley approaching doesn't carry a banner sign. Apparently it's just going to be put into service. A southbound Boston Road car heading south away from us following Boston Road and it will eventually follow Southern Boulevard and Westchester Avenue down into the South Bronx. A Tremont Avenue car coming into service from the uh, West Farms car barn at 175th Street and Boston Road. A crosstown car on the 167th Street line near McKinley Square. A Tremont Avenue trolley coming off Tremont and uh, Valentine Avenue, crossing Webster Avenue and heading east on Tremont Avenue. Uh, another Tremont Avenue trolley doing the same thing. This is in the late 1940s now with the car having the post-war paint scheme with the yellow triangle in the front and the simplified lettering on the sides. An eastbound Tremont Avenue trolley in the vicinity of uh, the old Bronx Borough Hall at Tremont and 3rd Avenue heading east. A southbound Southern Boulevard car on Southern Boulevard near Tremont Avenue. Tremont Avenue trolleys passing in front of Public School 6 at Tremont and Bryant Avenues just a short distance west of West Farm Square. 
looking east from West Farm Square and now a quick view of uh, trolleys at uh, 243rd Street and White Plains Road. These are former Staten Island cars which were bought by 3rd Avenue Railway System and placed in service on the Webster Avenue Main Line which operated on White Plains Road north of Gun Hill Road. This is 241st Street and White Plains Road, the end of the IRT elevated line, and a southbound Webster Avenue car just entering service. A B car coming in from Mount Vernon, which will head down to 229th Street. A Webster Avenue convertible car heading north to 243rd Street. And now we're at 229th Street, where there was a turn back for the B trolleys from Mount Vernon. They operated uh, via West First Street and White Plains Road as far south into the Bronx as 229th Street. Another B car about to turn back at 229th Street and White Plains Road. The B trolley and the W trolley shared trackage from 229th to 243rd Streets. There's the B trolley turning back just south of the 229th Street station, right in the middle of the street. 241st Street and White Plains Road again with a trolley emerging from under the IRT terminal heading north into Mount Vernon. This time it's an A car and the A car begins its run here and heads up into Mount Vernon and then across through Mount Vernon, Pelham and into New Rochelle where it would turn around at the New Haven Railroad Station in New Rochelle. As seen from an upper story of a building along White Plains Road between Gun Hill Road and 241st Street. There's a southbound B car from Mount Vernon. North of 229th Street, of course. And in the winter time, a sweeper car is brought out to keep the tracks clear so the trolleys can continue to operate as much as possible on schedule. That's that same turn back at 229th Street and White Plains Road. Some additional views of 3rd Avenue Railway System sweepers in Westchester. This appears to be Yonkers Avenue, probably during the big blizzard of 1947-48. Now, after 1948, when the last Bronx trolley routes were bustituted, some of the newer trolleys were sold to places like Vienna, Austria. And these cars are being shipped up E.L. Grant Highway and uh, being taken away from the Bronx. I'm sorry, they're uh, being shipped along Southern Boulevard and being taken from the Bronx past the old Lincoln Hospital and uh, will be uh, placed aboard ships for transfer to Europe.